The overall goal of this procedure is to investigate the cellular and molecular mechanisms underlying neo-tissue formation, valve thickening, and stenosis development within a tissue-engineered heart valve. This is accomplished by first harvesting the pulmonary heart valve from donor mouse heart tissue. In the second step, the entire heart is harvested from a second donor. The donor pulmonary heart valve is then implanted onto the donor heart, and the heart with the new heart valve is heterotopically transplanted into a recipient mouse. Ultimately, the function of the transplanted heart and blood flow through the pulmonary valve can be monitored with a high-frequency ultrasound system in the pulse wave Doppler mode. The primary advantage of the use of the mouse model over other large animal models is that the use of a murine model enables us to take advantage of a wide range of molecular reagents that enable us to study the cellular and molecular mechanisms underlying the formation of vascular neotissue and the development of stenosis in tissue-engineered heart valves. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because of the complexity of the survival microsurgery. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the proper anastomosis on the transplantation sites are difficult to learn and because it is difficult to perform anastomosis on the small caliber vessels without hemorrhage. 